So this next video is one that's really kind of difficult to pinpoint, and that's grading in Google Classroom. And that's because it's so specific to your content area and whether or not your school has a online grade book or what kind of grade book you use. Um, and, you know, are you using forms? There's just a lot of different variables. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you where the stuff you post goes to in Google Classroom and then kind of talk about some different options that you have. So basically just know that there's so much that you can personalize that this is really just going to be an overview of what's here and then it's going to be up to you to kind of decide what you do with that. Um, so first, let's just look at the sample post and this is an assignment that we attached a spreadsheet to. So this could have been a sheets, it could have been a doc, what it is, is it's a single um, assignment that a, that a student had. So the single assignment is now coming back to you on Google Classroom. So that's what we're looking at. So what you can do is you can click on this and we have one student in this classroom. Usually it will hopefully say more than that, but you're going to click on this. And this is the page that you will see. Right now, again, we have one example student in here. Usually you would have a lot of different icons populated with all of your different students. You'll have an icon of that student and then you will have their name. Some teachers let their students do completely random um, images for their profile picture. I tell my kids that they need to do their actual picture. I like that for grading purposes because they'll also be lined up over here. So you'll be able to see your students' pictures and their names, and that way I can go to their pictures nice and fast. That's my preference. So I tell them to have their actual picture. So you'll have their, their picture and their name right here. Um, so you have this side right over here where it has their picture, their name, and then you'll also have a slot for their grade. Well, this is the first variable. You can put their grade here, but for my circumstance, I really find this a duplicate because our district has an online grading program that our students are taught to go check consistently. So why put it here on Google Classroom and on the online program? It just seems like more work. Um, so what I do is I go up here, instead of 100 points, I put ungraded. So I'll go here to update. And so it says ungraded here, and there's not an actual grade. And so I'm just looking at their work here and putting it into my online grading program. So that's my preference. Last year, I did for a while give them their points here and actually put in their points here. And so that way they had their points on Google Classroom and then I also put them online. It just was more work. So again, personal preference, whatever you wanna do. If you do wanna put a grade there, you just put 20 out of 20 if they got all their points. You'll go through the class. It says not returned because you haven't sent those grades to the class. Once you get done grading everything, what you'll do is you'll click this return button. And once you've clicked the return button, that actually sends the grade back out to the students. So they don't know that it's graded until you actually click that return button. Um, also over here, and again, we can't see it because I don't have extra students, but if these are the students that are done, if you had students that were not done, they will be um, sectioned out by a line right here and then all of your students who are not done will be down below. So the actual kids who are done will be right here and there will be a um, preview of the assignment right here. This assignment's actually empty so you can't see anything but normally there would be a preview right there who um, the title of the document who it belongs to and the name and the fact that it's finished. If it was unfinished, it would, um, I believe it's red and it would say in, there wouldn't be anything, I think. Um, so what you can do is you just click on it and it will open up the document. I find that a little bit cumbersome whenever I'm grading 
So what I end up doing is I do a multi-window where I have the person right here and then I have the assignment over to the side. So let's say I was grading this. I would just open the link in a new tab and I have whatever I'm grading with. It's usually my grade book. It's not Google Classroom. But I open up everybody's assignment in multiple tabs right here and then I just grade their assignments right here so it would have their name and then I grade an assignment I put a grade I go to the next tab I grade an assignment I put a grade whether or not it's a picture or a spreadsheet um, that's how I grade it's because I'm a um, graphic teacher a lot of times it's typically a picture that I'm grading. So like I said, if you are grading a quiz, you would grade with forms. It would be a lot more streamlined than just grading pictures. If you were an English teacher, you could have a rubric inside of your docs. So that's where the personal thing comes in. So you really, you have to decide how to streamline that process. But this is what the grading looks like. Um, if you go back, that's really all there is to in grading in Gradebook or in Google Classroom. There is an option to create a gradebook within Google Classroom. Um, again, a lot of districts have their own online grading system. So it's really, I don't know how many people use that. What it is, is it takes um, all of your assignments that you create in Google Classroom and it just transfers them automatically to a spreadsheet on Google Sheets. So that's all it is. It just has your class roster on one side and then up above it has all of your assignments and it's just a spreadsheet for you to enter in. So there is that capability if you wanted that. I don't use it and I know people in our school won't really be using that. So um, again, that's how you get to all of the assignments. If you're using forms, um, that's really a really good way to grade really fast. So I would really recommend forms as much as possible. The rubrics for papers um, are really great. A lot of my stuff is visual, so I do that. Um, if I can't do forms, or rubrics. This visual is how I grade. So that's grading with Google Classroom. Um, if you need any help or any different ideas, just let me know and I will try and brainstorm with you. <laughs>